Self Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self-love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey, everybody. It's W. Mark Watts, and I want to say hello, welcome, and thank you for hanging out with me for another episode of Self Love is the New Sexy. And today's episode is all about opening up to something new, opening your mind to something new and your life, opening your life up to something new. So this is going to be an interesting episode because this is the very first time that I've started creating or I've started recording a podcast episode without any notes, without even really any preparation. I just had the inspiration and I got on live and I and I'm start I'm going with it. And it's following the way that I'm creating this particular episode is in line with the topic tonight, which is opening up to something new. And for me, Doing an episode with just allowing the message to flow through me real time live while I just hit the record button and I'm going for it is something new for me. Right. And so I want to impress upon you today is the fact that as we're as the world is in, uh, I'll just, you know, I'll be very dramatic with it, a new world order, if you will. You know, things are very much in flux. The one thing that we do know is that life as we knew it some two, three, four months ago is no longer. There will be drastic changes in the way that we live every day, in the way that we work, in the way that we connect, in the things that we're thinking about, you know, the way that we, you know, clean ourselves and our homes and our workspaces. I mean, everything is going to be somewhat different. Will it be 100% different than it was before? No. But will there be some tweaks? Will there be some differences? We're not even really sure about the economy. We're not sure about when jobs will come back. You know, there's a lot of things that will be new and will be different. And it will create some changes in our lives. So that is the given part. There's going to be changes. Anytime there's changes, that means there's something new. So there's some new avenues opening up to us. Now, the reason why I wanted to speak on it today is simply because it's very much in line with this self-love journey. If you're listening to this podcast and you're, you know, very concerned or you're very interested, I should say, that's probably the best word. You're very interested in what self-love means you know, what does it feel like? What do you do? Then basically underneath that, because you're always going to have the broad topic. So the broad umbrella is self-love. Underneath that self-love, there's various different aspects. And one of the biggest ones when you're talking about self-love is newness, creativity. And that is a huge part of what this self-love or a huge piece of what this whole self-love equation really is, is because once you start doing the work, once you start digging into yourself, then you start to uncover things that number one, you like, and then number two, that you don't like. And so now that you have these ingredients, you have to decide what to do with them. You know, whether you want to keep the bad stuff and just let it hang out there or you want to look at the new stuff and and dig into it and so this particular episode is all about that second piece i just said the new things and digging into those the creativity you know if you've listened to some my other episodes i tell you about some of the things that that i've allowed myself to get into like the stock market trading stocks 
uh, daily and really investing. I've become really interested in it. I mean, I spend, it, it's a, become a big hobby for me. That's something totally new for me. Five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, it was nothing. I had no intention, no feeling, no thoughts about getting into that world. But over the last couple years, man, my interest has just grown and I'm just, I find myself digging into it every single day. So that was something that came to me as a part of doing my self-love work on my self-love journey and uncovering things that really excite me, that really interest me, that, that sparked my attention. So just a couple of things that uh, I want to mention that will lead you to this newness, to being open to that creativity is, you know, listen to that small inner voice that just whispers something to you uh, because that small inner voice is your intuition. It's that belly. It's the universe speaking to you. And oftentimes the universe is not going to yell and scream and kick and come over the loudspeaker to you. Many times it's going to be very silent. It's going to be very soft. It's going to be very pleasant. It's going to be very inviting. And, and it can oftentimes be faint as well. So you're going to have to really tune in to hear it. But it's there and it's always there. And one practice that I have, so I invite you to throw this into your your daily health equation is whenever you take and I've talked about this before, take a minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, if you can get it or more, if you can get it to just sit alone and be quiet. Now, your mind is going to race because our minds are always working, whether we're alive and awake whenever we sleep our li our minds are always working so don't worry about that the thing to think about though is what when you sit still is just sitting still with no tv no radio you know nothing going on if you can get that quiet time to yourself just keep track of what you're hearing and then over time as you can continue to do this practice then you'll start to see some patterns forming. You'll start to see things popping up in those thoughts consistently. There is the gold right there. That's where you find the gold. When you consistently see things popping up in your quiet time, that's something you need to investigate. That's a direction that you might want to consider going in or at least doing more research, finding out more about it, and understanding how you feel about it. If you feel really good about it, there you go. That's something that you need to try. That's something you need to pursue and share and really dig your, and stick, you know, dig your teeth into it. You know, really get your hands around it because there's going to be some great experiences that come from that. Some great learning. You're gonna gain a lot of knowledge and it's going to either help you and or others. So that is the thing. During that quiet time, what's consistently popping up in your mind? You know, what themes, what topics, you know, what really sparks your interest? Those are some directions. Those are some opportunities for openness, for creativity. And then the other thing I want you to think about is, since so much is changing right now, we might be a little hesitant to really add something to the pot. And the reason why I say that is because even for myself right now, amongst all the things that are changing and going on, and there's still so much at the time that I'm recording this uh, in April of 2020, late April, you know, I'm even a little hesitant to make more wholesale changes. Even though my mentors are encouraging me to stay open and I want to, and I do my best to practice staying open and trying new things, I'm almost at the point now where I'm even wondering, I'm in, in that mid spot where I'm like, am I trying to do too much too soon? Or is it time to even continue to do more new things? And so only I can answer that. And only, you know, I have to make that decision. 
whether to stand pat or whether to venture out. Just as you have that, you know, you have that same invitation. Because, again, keep in mind, we're no different. We're all just various pieces of this one big puzzle that are all interconnected. So you have those same questions. You have those same issues. You have those same thoughts. You know, your life is changing, too. And along with all of this change that we are in the midst of right now, also part of that equation is, you know, what am I doing next? What am I doing that sets me on fire? You know, for, for some of us, it's what am I doing to get from this day into tomorrow? What do I do to get a job, get a second job? How do I pay the bills? You know, my relationships are folding around me. You know, how do I still continue to be sure that my kids are getting an education and on and on and on. There's so many real life, real everyday events and and things that have to happen each and every day. So I get that. And I definitely don't discount that because that's a big thing of what we have to focus on. We definitely have to focus on the day to day task. And also a challenging part of that or an additional challenge comes when you've got that itch that saying, hey, try this or go over there, talk to that person or stop doing that. You no longer that no longer serves you. You know, we need to we need to stop thinking that particular way we need to stop associating with those people we need to stop doing that particular thing whether that be drinking or the way that we eat or the thoughts that we think every day so while we're taking care of the day-to-day we're also invited to look at what's next and so that's the other piece of why I wanted to do this tonight, too, is I want you we, we cannot we we cannot get stuck in looking only at what's going on in the moment right now. But we also have to be thinking what's next. Where am I going? Where what's inviting me? What's pulling me? You know, where do I feel guided? Where do I feel led to go? What do I feel led to do? And so I'm in the middle of deciphering some of those things for myself and so I invite or I I ask you to in your quiet time ask that question you know what's next for me what's next for me should be a nice question and just allow the universe to talk to you you take take those quiet moments you know and some of them you can do it too while you're driving if you're driving in the car you know just turn everything off ask that question And just let the universe talk to you because the universe is always speaking to us. So open yourself up for that creativity, for that next thing while we're doing the day to day things that keep us safe, that keep us healthy and that, you know, sustains us. So we have we have to do those also. And then while we're doing that, look for what's next. Look for that window opening. Look for that crack in the door. Look for that that soft invitation from somebody that maybe you just met because while we're in the middle of making things happen on the daily, taking care of our necessities, there's also windows open for the next step for what's next for us. And we have to stay open to that, be willing to step out there and do those things because again, that is a huge part of this whole self love journey is being open to the new things, being making sure we take time to be creative. And then once we figure out what those things are, again, share it with the world. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for hanging out with me for always. Continue to, to uh, I had a joy talking to several people online today. So hit me up on Facebook. I have a Facebook page there or Instagram, W Mark Watts or Twitter or send me an email at mark at wmarkwatts.com. Let me know how things are going for you. Let me know what you're working on. Let me know what you're open to creating next for you. Talk with you all again soon. Bye now.
You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.